Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we're going to be spraying this Honda Civic behind me. It's a three stage pearl white metallic. First thing we're going to do before I start prepping the quarter is I'm going to spray a black primer guide coat. Unmask it. We're going to wash the car because it's pretty dirty. And then we're going to prep the quarter, prep the door, scuff the fender. We have a new bumper and then we're going to blend into the hood and it should come out looking good. All right, now we can check our color. I'm gonna bring out my spray out card, match it up to the door. Once I verify everything's good, I can start prepping and get the car in the booth. All right, so I take my car to the door that we're gonna be blending into. So the top one looks good. It matches the, it matches the door perfectly. That's the two coats of pearl. So I'm gonna park it in the sun. In the sun, you can see all the metallics. The metallics are off then the color is going to be off. Even though it looks good in the shade, in the sun it could be completely off. So we're going to check it in the sun as well, make sure it's really good. So we got a few body lines here that we want to protect and make sure we don't sand because the body men work to get those lines nice and straight. So when we prep, we have to make sure we don't sand any of them or round it off the edges. So I'm going to use this as a guide. Now I can see exactly where that line is. And I'm gonna put my tape there. So I put my line right on that tape. I'm gonna do the same with this bottom line. And then with this wheel arch, there's a body line tool that we use. Just set it up. So now I can start prepping this middle section. Once I walk through all the primer, I'm gonna reverse the tape and prep the other side. There's a lot of curves to this quarter, so you can't really use a straight edge everywhere. So the main part, I blocked it with the long one, so now I'm gonna get a smaller block where I can get into all the curves. So this section looks good. We don't have any high spots or low spots. So I know the body work is gonna look good once it's painted. So we're gonna go over with the 600 DA sander and then we'll move the tape lines on the other side. These two sections look good. We're gonna go over with 600 DA grit, do this little section, and that's it. We're done with the bodywork prep. So we're just gonna round out the edges a little bit so they're not sharp since the factory edges have a little roundness to them. Now that our bodywork area is prepped, we're gonna go over the, all the blend panels with our 1000 grit DA sander. So 
and we have a new bumper as well it has a coating on it so we're gonna scuff it up with the 600 grit all right bumper is prepped washed ready to go I'm gonna seal the bumper first since we're not gonna seal anything else on the car so that way while the bumper is drying we're gonna mask up the car I'm gonna start my masking process our bumper is sealed so we're ready to paint almost ready this, this is the difficult part, part that takes the longest, part I hate the most, but somebody has to do it. Another quick tip is I use uh, rubbing alcohol on all my edges where I'm going to be masking and taping. That way you get rid of all the grease, wax, and it ensures a good bond between the tape and the car. And then that way you don't get any overspray on the rest of the car. So use a microfiber and just go over all the edges. So much easier to mask and tape. and clean oh, I love me a new suit the PPG suits are great they're super light it's anti-static carbon fiber thread and it's got like little vents right here in the back I might go to I tried all the suits and I love this one so let's mix up some paint we already know the paint code is NH883P-H so first we're gonna do the white base now I already have my cup from uh, the fender jam so I'm just gonna add the paint into there so let's mix it up straight white be 275 parts if I go a little bit over it's gonna tell me it's an over pour so I just hit continue and it's gonna recalculate the rest of the formula so on these next few you don't want to over pour because if you over pour on this one it's gonna go back to the white one because then you're gonna need to add more white. So these we keep accurate, maybe 23 exactly, 23 parts. There it is. Hit continue. Then we got a 423 yellower. We're gonna do 17 parts, 17.6. There, almost there. Couple more drops. Boom. Hit continue. And then the last, we're gonna add our toner, 440.9. There it is. Boom. Now we're just gonna add a reducer. If it's a solid, you reduce it by 10%. If it's a metallic or a pearl, you reduce it by 20%. So this one asks for 10%, which is gonna be 26 parts. And on this one, you don't have to be exactly accurate. You can be a little over, a little under, as long as the reducer is added. So. It up nice and good. Every car I write down my paint code and then the variant which was a uh, darker X1 and then I do the same on the cap. If I need more color or if the detailer needs a touch of paint he knows where to find it. So I label all my paint that's from this week so then I know how to find it. This is the tri coat, the mid coat for the Honda Civic, so we're just gonna add more paint to here. So always, always label your cups. We're gonna blend the quarter to the bumper, and then we're just gonna spray the whole side, blend the hood, and paint this bumper. We mixed our base coat up. I'm gonna do two coats, make sure each coat is dry before going to the next one. Then I'll take you to the mixing room and we can mix up the mid coat.
right now it's time to mix up our mid coat. I got my formula opened up here. finish mixing my paint here get it loaded into the spray gun and then we're gonna go back inside the spray booth and do our mid coat so our base coat is dry we're ready for our mid coat we're gonna do two coats and then do a light control coat over everything and then we're ready for a clear coat Alright, so I just finished up with my base coats and my mid coats, so everything's looking good, the car is dry. I'm gonna leave the fan on for 5-10 more minutes before I put my clear, just to make sure it's all aired out. And we got a nice blend, we stayed away from the bumper and the tailgate, tape is yellow, that's what you want to see. One thing to look out for is when you're painting especially a bumper that has a part that meets with the hood. Make sure you do on the bumper the same thing you did on the hood. Then that way when you put your bumper on, these two pieces will match. And same with the fenders and the corners of the bumper. Make sure you apply your base coat and your mid coats the same way you did on the fenders as the bumper. Looks super good, happy with it. We're gonna shoot some clear on it, make it look super glossy and I'll be ready for assembly tomorrow morning. Alright, our three-stage paint job is officially done. The Honda Civic is painted, it's dry, so it's time to get it out of the booth. It turned out real nice, very happy with it. Looking clean overall, our blends look good. Got the new bumper, so everything's looking nice and clean. We'll get the car out, get the body tech on it, start putting it together. We're gonna wash it, detail it, and then I'll reveal the car once it's all put together. I got the Honda Civic behind me. Three stage white pearl paint job is done. Very happy with the results. The car is washed, detailed, and ready to go. Let's take a look.
I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. That'll be it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one.